Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm comparing Revive versus Young Living. This has been a highly requested video. Uh, and I just did my unboxing, so you guys know if you've already seen that, that I didn't get Revive right away because of their marketing. I was just like, I don't know if it was cheesy or just off-putting to me, but they really um, market against Young Living and doTERRA, and they copy their blends, and so I just feel like it's all just a little weird, but that shouldn't be my only basis on the company. So I bought some oils. Um, so disclaimer, I bought these uh, myself. I do have an affiliate link though, so if you purchase through that link, I will earn a small commission. Before we get started, I have a couple of things to share with you. This cute little shirt is the cutest thing um i just recently discovered saved by grace they do a bunch of um like christian shirts and also just some cute ones that aren't faith-based but oh, this is so cute and the girls got one too and i'm gonna surprise them for valentine's day and we're all gonna match and i just love them but um i'll put the link to shop her shop in the description i love her story and she works um alongside of her daughter i believe um uh, but they just have a cool like story but i also have the shirt the sweatshirt that says god is so dang good and there's a bunch of those like that so anyways that is saved by grace um it'll also be in my sustainable video coming soon um but Anna Luisa will also be in that post and I got some new things from them so this is one of them I'll show you or I'll show you up close it is a moon oh and it's so shiny it has like a little opalescent like little plaque I guess you could say right um, in the middle. I love it so much. The quality is amazing. I love this chain. It's a little bit different, um, but I'll insert a clip of the other pieces that I got that are new. Um, one is a little ear cuff and then another C necklace, which I was excited they just got initial necklaces, so I love that. Um, but anyways, let's compare these two brands that you guys have been wanting me to compare for a long time. Okay, Young Living owns their own farms. I don't think 100% of them, but they say they own their own farms. Um, they do everything right. They test. They say they're organic. They aren't USDA, or USDA certified organic. Um, and they uh, their prices are just a little bit high. I think that's a, the con. And that you have to join their MLM. You have to... Um, it's easier now. And another disclaimer, full of disclaimers in this video. Um, the I am not a brand partner with Young Living anymore. It's a personal decision. Um, I'll do a whole video on it. I feel like there's a lot to just unload on that, but I am a customer. I have my subscription still. I am a user of their oils. I'm just not part of the um, brand partnership. Yeah. I'll save the rest for the other video, but anyways, disclaimer. I won't have a Young Living link in the description. Um, but you wanna make sure that the oils are properly harvested planted, harvested, distilled, and then tested. And both companies claim to do this very well. Um, I did come across one article, I did a lot of research on Revive, um, but I did come across one article that had a test result that was contaminated with a synthetic um, linalol or something. I'm sure you can find that on any company you research. Um, so I think they just attack each other and it's just a thing with oil companies. So do your research and don't just take my word for it either. Um, watch a bunch of videos, do a bunch of research, uh, and then make your best judgment. It's just a strange world sometimes out there in this community. So anyways, I just try to keep it real with you guys and tell you what I think and what we're using and what works for us and what I love and what I don't love. So we're going to compare four, five different oils. Um, Revive has a compare MLM tab on their site and you can just literally see like Young Living's blends and what they've created and they are dupes of theirs and doTERRA's oils. So the first one is Harmonious Healing versus Progescence Plus. I'll show them to you guys up here. This is the hormone support oil. Um, it has wild yam extract, which is nature's form of progest progesterone. <laughs> Let's get those words mixed up. Um, so it balances your hormones and honestly, this is a product from Young Living that I will never stop using unless this compares to it. I haven't used it for that long. I just got these. Um, so unless this works just as well, I can't stop. When I stop using this, I get headaches and feel all kind of out of sorts. Um, so this is needed for me uh, and it definitely balances my hormones and there's a lot of benefits of Progestins Plus. Just take my word for it. Um, if you want me to do an entire video on Pro Plus or these two um, in general and a new kind of updated hormone video, let me know. I can do that. Um, 
So they have the same exact oils, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to read them to you. So Progestins Plus is uh, Balsam Copaiba, uh, Sacred Frankincense, Cedarwood, um, Bergamot, um, sorry, Peppermint, and then the USP grade from Wild Yam and then Clove. The Harmonious Healing is um, Copaiba, Balsam Copaiba, Frankincense, Cedarwood, um, Spergamot, Peppermint, USP grade progesterone from Wild Yam Extract, and then Clovis. Same exact oil. They are different size bottles though, so um, keep that in mind when I'm talking about pricing here. So the 10 mil Revive uh, Harmonious Healing is $19, so that's $1.90 per milliliter. And then this one from Young Living Pro Plus is $52.63, um, and that is... 350 per ml if you are a member you get 24 percent off young living so keep that in mind too i'm giving you the non-member pricing um just for this video's purpose but different bottles different prices let's see the smell test so harmonious healing it does smell good i think a lot of people use it for perfume too but um it's kind of like a sharp um and a little bit floral but more, I don't know, I can't really explain it really. Um, kind of like a lot of frankincense, so kind of like a grounding smell. Um, and they smell exactly the same. Um, yeah, in my opinion, they smell exactly the same. I have a roller on this one. It's just a little fitment roller that you can put on the top. Um, it just makes it easier to roll it on. You don't have to do that though, you can just do two to four drops. The directions are exactly the same too. Two to four drops um, on inner thighs, stomach, or arms and rotate application sites. That was the hormone balancing. Uh, now I will do Joy, which this is in my top three favorite essential oils. Joy is so bright and floral and uplifting and I love it so much. So I had to get the Revive one to compare. Um, so right off the bat, to me it's both calming and uplifting. Makes me happy. I love it a lot, a lot. And the Revive Joy, I think it's just funny how they have the same name too. That's just one of the things I think will always be a thing for me is that they're copying. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment. Ooh, it's a tiny bit different maybe. Let's see. This is more soft and kind of powdery. That's weird that I'm even saying that, but this one's a little more sharp, very similar though. Very floral, uplifting, like you said, bright. I don't know, they're very comparable, maybe just a little tiny bit different, which I do really like this one though too. I'm gonna diffuse it and see. Um, yeah, th it smells the same, it smells like joy. Um, and oh, again, same exact oils, so I'll read them to you. Uh, bergamot, lemon, ooh, in different order though for this one. So. The Young Living Joy is bergamot, ylang ylang, geranium, coriander, tangerine, jasmine, roman chamomile, palmarosa, and rose. This one's bergamot, lemon, tangerine, ylang ylang, coriander, palmarosa, geranium, jasmine, and chamomile. So they are in different, oh, and rose. They're in different order, um, so that's why it smells a tiny bit different, but they're very, very similar. And the pricing is a lot different. So I'll go over that. The Young Living one is $58 for 15 mil. That's really pricey. That's $3.80 per milliliter. Revive Joy is $16. That's 1.6 um, per mil. So that's uh, half. Like I said, I'm not a mathematician. Okay. The next one is The Thieves. This is another um, blend. The next two will be singles, um, but this is The Thieves Dupe. Uh, immunity boost. So I'll put them here. This is the um, Vitality, so it has the white label, so safe for ingesting via Young Living. Um, the Young Living one is clove, <clears throat> excuse me, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. This one is clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Same exact. So I'll do a smell test. This is Revive. Hmm. Clove and cinnamon is what I'm picking up most. Clove and cinnamon. What was first? Yeah, clove. They smell the exact same. This one might be a little bit more cinnamony. But again, 
Um, another difference is that this one is a couple months old. It's not brand new. This one's brand new. So oxidation, the lid might have been left off. I don't know. They could have, could or not, could have or may not. I don't know what I'm trying to say. May or not, may not have been left off. I can't speak English. Um, so that all has a, a role in how the smells come out um, and also how they're distilled when they're harvested, all of that. So if a smell is different, it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad or good. Um, they're just different. Plants are all different too. So that was Thieves or the Immune Support Blends. Um, and the price difference on that is the 10 mil Revive Immune Boost is $14. Um, that's 1.4 per mil. And then the Thieves 5 mil is $20. It's 401 per mil and then the 15 is um, 47 dollar that's a lot of money um, for and that's 3.18 per milliliter three dollars 18 cents why I'm saying like that um, and again that's the pricing if you're not a member so you get 24% off that it's next up is lavender um, and this is the same lavender I think let me just make sure lavandula angustifolia <laughs> I can't pronounce those ever lavandula angustifolia same lavender blend there are a couple of different lavenders so just wanted to make sure um, they were the same this 10 mil is nine dollars ninety cents per milliliter and then this five mil is sixteen dollars or twelve fifty if you remember um, so three dollars twenty nine cents it's a lot more per milliliter if you're not a member okay let's do a smell test revive smells like the good like buttery lavender that I like smells like lavender um, the Young Living one, a little more sharp. Again, this one is a couple months old. Uh, this might be a little more than a couple months. I don't know. This was in, the Vitality oils are kept in our like cooking drawer. So this one is a little bit older. It smells a little different. Um, so this one smells not as buttery. Not It's like more sharp, I guess. This one smells better to me, but... Again, it could be that this one was um, just a little older. It's been open for a while. This one's brand new. They both smell like legit. They don't smell fragrancy um, or fake in my opinion. So if that helps at all. Um, the 10 mil lavender. Oh, I already said 90, cent, 90 cents per. No, okay. Last one that I'm going to compare today. Let me know if you want me to compare some of their other blends because they have, um, I don't know, a lot of their blends are uh, covered on their website as far as like their dupes. So let me know if you want me to do any other ones that I didn't do today. Um, but this is peppermint. Uh, here are the two peppermints. Um, let me know just for funsies what pa uh, like labels and packaging you like better. Um, and if you like the 10 mil bottles by Revive, that's just a lot different than what we're used to. Um, if you are, I don't know, and I feel like any company that I've used has either 5 or 15. I know Plant Therapy has some 2.5 bottles, which I like because then you can try the oil. But anyways, I just think it's interesting. Let me know if you like this. Um, mentha, Piperita, Mentha, Piperita. Same peppermint. Let's do a smell test. This is fairly new, so this will be a good um, comparison. It is super... Ooh. I'm getting like a... I don't want to say like, mm, at the end of it, what is it about this? It's like, I can pick it up in my mouth. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm going to like taste it. Okay, that's super strong. And I feel like it's herby in my mouth as I'm smelling that. Is that weird? <laughs> uh, why is that weird to me? Peppermint. Or revive, I mean. Ooh, it does smell a little different. Let me see. It's not as strong right off the bat. It kind of works its way up my nose. So it is a little bit different, um, but still very fresh, very uplifting and like, whew, like potent as peppermint should be. So they smell good. I don't think I, I think I like the Young Living one better. That is just like super, hits you really hard. This one's kind of more of a gradual. Yeah, not as potent, but I do like them both. I would probably pick Young Living over Revive if I had to, but it's not really a big that much of a difference. Um, <clears throat> okay, price point. The 10 mil Revive is $7. Um, that's 70 cents per milliliter. And then um, Young Living, 5 mil is 14 
which is 2.8 and then 15 ml bottle is $30 which is $2 per milliliter uh, that's a pretty big difference as far as price okay so again some things to look into when you're comparing essential oil brands or when you're looking into a new one to get um, are the farms organic um, that is important to me um, especially when using them therapeutically or like for I don't know headaches or whatever if you're just using them for smell only I don't know it would still kind of matter but a matter less I guess if that makes sense um, the harvesting is it done properly it should be steam distilled um, unless it's the citrus oil which are cold pressed distilling um, harvesting they should be harvested at the right time they should be st distilled for the correct pressure and time too that there's a science behind that it's very specific so that should be done properly um, testing should be done rigorously um, Revive says that they test 20 different measures, 20 different tests. Um, Young Living also says they test a lot. Um, and I, the Young Living test results aren't readily available on their website. They said it's because they don't want brands to copy them. Well, <laughs> Revive copied them, so I don't really know why they don't put their test results, but Revive does. Um, the I will update this in the description or right here on the side, but as this current moment standing, I don't know if you can just go and look up this number and find test results, um, but they do have the test on their website. I just, I'm not sure how you look up each specific bottle, um, but once I find that information out, I will definitely update you guys, uh, but I think Revive is legit. I think any brand that you're looking into, you'll be able to find something negative about them because I feel like people attack, and it's just a strange thing. Um, and I'll explain that a little bit more when I do my Young Living video and why um, I decided to revoke, I don't know, terminate my brand partner contract. Um, it's just a weird little thing that you navigate, I feel like. And um, for me personally, just as a blogger and a person that shares a bunch of different things for you um, to compare and contrast and show you different options, being a Young Living brand partner just didn't work because I can't compare. Um, they don't allow you to compare other brands to them on the same platform if you're a brand partner. And so that's really defeating the purpose of my job. And primary source of income, my job, what I do is to compare and to share a lot of things with you. And so not being able to do that really made the decision easy. Um, but anyways, um, look into the brands, do your research, get a collective of different um ideas and research and then make your best personal judgment for you and your family that's what we do that's what i like sharing um and i always try to be transparent and honest with you guys and so let me know if you have any questions let me know if there's any blends that i missed that you want me to compare um i like revive i'll probably keep ordering from them i think the pricing is awesome we get free shipping um so lastly I approve as of right now. Um, if that changes, I will definitely let you guys know. The link to Shop Revive will be in the description. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Have a good day. Bye.